If you love animals, then be prepared to have your eyes opened. It's scary right now, um, what we're dealing with, what we're up against. That might be the simplest way to prepare you for what the minimal staff and volunteers are up against at the only humane agency in Mahoning County. The amount of animals that are in our area that are being abused and neglected and abandoned um, is unfortunately growing. It's getting worse. I'm afraid for our organization um, that we're gonna make it through the rest of this year um, because of how many animals are coming in our doors. Jane and Jess McMurchie take on this monumental task together. Days, nights, weekends, there are no days off for these two. Jess is the Mahoning County Humane Agent who is called on to help every animal in need. She rarely accepts interviews due to the nature of her work. Why does Jess do this day in and day out? To have a purpose, I, I think it's the biggest reason. Uh, to do something that, that's meaningful. I know that I can do it. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, I don't know if there's anybody that could replace me and take that on. It, we've tried to find more staffing, um, but it becomes too difficult. The difficult days are dealt with together, at work and at home. Jess and Jane support each other through the good and the bad. I tell people all the time, and it's hard to get people to understand unless they really are in those buildings and see it, but if there is a headline, um, a breaking news story locally, um, sometimes not even within our county, uh, and it's related to homicides and OVIs and robberies and um, gun violence and drug use, um, when it, all of those things happen, there is a very large percentage of a chance that those people committing those crimes or that are subject to those crimes have animals. And um, most of the time, we are taking on the responsibility of those animals. Animal Charities currently operates out of two facilities. An old bank on Market Street houses the medical clinic and intake offices and have been taken over to make room for the hundreds of animals who need a safe place to heal after going through so much. Every animal that is rescued um, starts off at our Market Street location. So they start there for their intakes, they get their vaccinations, spays and neuters, some have very bad wounds and injuries. Some have never been to a vet in their life and they have masses and, you know, old injuries and old illnesses and wounds that need to be treated. So some are there longer than others. Um, but then also they are there while their court case is happening. And it's not always as straightforward as a 10 day probable cause hearing. Unfortunately, some have to stay in our care for months and months until their trials. Um, that's also where we have, we used to have a full service um, vet clinic. Um, because of space right now, we're just doing vaccinations and testing and prevention for community at a low cost, but um, it's been outgrown for several years. And then there's the rented facility in Canfield that is home to over 70 dogs. Some have been here for over five years and counting. No animal is ever put down due to lack of space. We have a cat that's been with us since 2018. He came in with a tuna can stuck on his head. His name is Charlie. And we have some dogs, um, Herschel, who is dog friendly and people friendly. Um, he's a high energy little guy. He's our longest resident. Um, he, came, he, he came in in January of 2018. With zero room to take care of countless animals, dogs, cats, and even wildlife, the decision was made to purchase a 22,000 square foot facility on Southern Boulevard in Boardman. The organization needs to raise $5 million to turn this massive facility into what the animals desperately need. All of the work still needs to be done. We signed the papers and we got the keys to the building. Um, we cannot move in here until we do the basic necessities. Electric, plumbing, flooring, HVAC. 
Um, once those basic items are done, then we're going to just move in as is and um, work through construction over the course of the 24 months the whole entire project will take. And, you know, it's not about, it's not about the human needs, you know, once those drains are put in and the electric and the flooring, the safe epoxy flooring for the dog's paws are put in, um, you know, that's all we need. You might be wondering where the majority of these animals come from. As the Humane Society for Mahoning County, we cover all 425 square miles of Mahoning County. However, most of the animal cruelty crime is happening in the city of Youngstown. Which then begs the question, how does the city of Youngstown help with the cost of care that comes with taking these countless animals? The answer is right now they don't. Given the chance to talk to city leaders one-on-one, -on -one, Jess said she would remain quiet. I don't know if I necessarily would say something. I'm more visual. I think I would bring pictures of what I see on a daily basis and put it in front of them. Seeing the dead dogs chained to trees that have been starved to death, um, a picture of hundreds of cats in a home, these cats living in walls and the ceilings underneath trash. I would bring photographs so that way they could see what I see with my own eyes. So the calls will keep coming, the animals will keep needing care, and the Animal Charity of Ohio team will keep fighting to build their new forever home. If the 252,000 people in Mahoning County all donated like, I don't know, two or three dollars, we would be able to hit the goal needed to get that initial part of work done to move in. And um, it's hard to fathom that, that only two or three dollars from every resident in Mahoning County, but we're serving and we're here for every resident in Mahoning County and um, especially the city of Youngstown.